Hello, we are Team General Dynamics, and our project was low frequency radio frequencies over fiber optics. Our technical directors consisted of Michael Bronner and Dr. Charles Jewart. The team consisted of myself, Brandon Ye, who is a electrical engineering and Chinese double major, and my partner, who is also electrical engineering, Antonio Van Mahabo. So with our project motivation, um, all of our fiber technology has the potential for improved signal reliability and quality. Um, it has a greater hardware arrangement flexibility, as well as a greater signal bank with pipes and link distance. Um, and so our project motivation is to gain proof of concept of low frequency applications for these RF over fiber system by investigating literature relevant for radio, low frequency RF over fiber communication systems, as well as developing a simulation model for this communication system. So RF over fiber is a technique that converts radio frequency signals into optical signals uh, to transmit over a large distance where it is converted back into an RF signal via an RX component. This allows RF signals to travel across large distances with minimal to no signal loss uh, with the great benefit of fiber optics being more durable and offering a higher bandwidth and are immune to electromagnetic interference compared to their copper coaxial co counterparts. So the economic impact that this project will have for the company is that it will reduce those complexities of uh, implementing in communication system solutions as it compared to existing coaxial implementations. And it's by reducing uh, the need for uh, repeating uh, coaxial or RF equipment, and, and it will also improve the communication system's performance, distance, flexibility. And it would uh, demonstrate the potential of this RF over fiber technology for further development. So an overview of this company. Electric Boat is a subsidiary of General Dynamics. It is the primary builder of submarines for the U.S. Navy and has a design yards and prime contractor of the Virginia class nuclear submarine. The anticipated best outcome of this project is a prototype proposal of a low frequency radio frequency over fiber system that can replace the currently existing coaxial cabling communication system. And currently there are no fiber products available for communication of low radio frequencies. And after the prototype proposal, we would also simulate a prototype system using the MATLAB and simula simulation in suite. And this would demonstrate the performance of the system. So um, for the key technical accomplishments um, in this project, well, we have not achieved the anticipated best outcome. We were able to who develop trade studies of potential radio frequency over fiber system architectures. And we've uh, began partial development of the MATLAB and Simulink model that demonstrates the radio frequency over fiber communication system technology. And so far in the model development, we've developed the radio frequency frequency shift key input model. We've developed an in progress model of the radio frequency to optical conversion stage. And we've uh, also partially developed a model of the optical fiber. Uh, 
So as you can see here, this is a simple block model of, of a, a di um, project. So in this design, we have the RF pre-processing stage and uh, RF to fiber conversion stage, which are, are grouped together in the RF to fiber transmission uh, device, which we be designing and that would interface with the antenna and be receiving the FSK input from the antenna. And it would be sending in optical data through the fiber optic link into the undeveloped fiber to RF receiver device that uh, we would be hoping to have, I mean, that we were hoping to achieve in designing, but we were unable to at this point. But theoretically, yeah, this design would also have uh, fiber to radio frequency conversion stage and uh, radio frequency post-processing so that the received optical signal is in a format that is uh, ready for the radio terminal to receive. So for this kind of project, key topics that we've uh, studied towards the development of um, design is uh, modulation and demodulation techniques electrical to optical signal conversion techniques, and fundamentals of fiber optics and photonics. We would also uh, be getting, I'm looking to study techniques to convert from optical to electrical as well. So for my technical contributions, I've gained familiarity with uh, frequency modulation techniques. I've performed trade studies to de determine designs to implement, which I'll uh, de uh, describe more in the next slide. And I've also collaborated on portions of the Simulink simulation with my partner, Brandon Ye. Specific parts include implementation of the RF input model and part of the RF to optical conversion subsystem, which is still in progress. But topics that require further study include demodulation techniques to complete the RF to optical uh, pre-processing stage for the for RF to optical transmitting device. We would also like to pull up for this study towards modeling of railroad sources of signal noise or distortion. We and optical to RF conversion techniques and characterization of link performance such as calculation of signal delay or bit error rate. So for the trade study, uh, we used the trade study as a form of a design down selection. So we've came up with potential design concepts that we can implement in our potential uh, prospective design for the RF to optical communication system. We've considered including an up converter to convert the low frequency RF signal into an intermediate frequency that would be compatible with existing commercial off the shelf radio frequency over fiber systems. We've considered analog to digital conversion of these low frequency radio frequency signals and then we would transmit the corresponding digital sample representations of the low frequency RF 
signal over the fiber instead of the actual RF signal waveform. And then we would reconstruct the RF signal waveform from the digital samples that we've transmitted over a fiber. We've also considered the modulation of the RF signal and transmitting its corresponding digital baseband message. We also considered direct on-off keying of optical transmitter. And we've considered Mark Zender modulation of optical transmitter. So what we decided on uh, implementing is the demodulation of the RF signal to obtain its corresponding digital baseband message signal and then transmitting that digital baseband message signal over the optical fiber using Mark Zender modulation and then reconstructing the RF signal using the base and received from the fiber link and using its corresponding original carrier frequency. So some challenges that we faced when designing this simulation model was determining the appropriate component values to use, um, as well as defining appropriate factors to account for when modeling the overall system. Uh, furthermore, training on usage of existing MATLAB toolboxes, uh, since we've never uh, since we've never used these toolboxes before, we had to take some time to um, to gain familiarity with these before we started this simulation model um, in the first place, as well as implement, um, trying to learn implementation of demodulation techniques. So for my technical contributions, um, I gained familiarity with um, frequency shift key modulation, um, current RF to optical conversion methods, as well as the fundamental basic fundamentals of fiber optics and photonics. Um, I more so focused on the simu simulating simulation itself, including the RF input in which I collaborated with uh, my partner, Antonio Vemahabong. Um, as well as with the RF to optical conversion subsystem, which is currently in progress, as well as the optical to RF conversion subsystem, um, which is the also still in progress, and the optical fiber uh, subsystem, which is also in progress. I also acknowledge uh, a few topics that are required for future studies, such as the FSK demodulation techniques uh, to complete the RF to optical subsystem, uh, the ABCD matrix, um, which is used to um, uh, simulate the certain characteristics of the fiber that can affect the behavior of the optical beam itself, as well as the optical to RF conversion techniques. So this is the first iteration of our RF input on Simulink. We use a Bernoulli binary to generate our initial message. And for our FSK portion, our FSK modulator, we use what uh, use a voltage control oscillator or a VCO. Uh, the VCO was capable of producing a square wave <clears throat> that, um, that would vary its frequency based off of what the Bernoulli binary message was, but as you can see in this uh, switch block output here, uh, the switch helps to control. Uh, the switch helps to control and create the uh, square wave itself. And you can see that when the Bernoulli binary was in its one state, you can see that the VCO produced a higher frequency than when the <clears throat> than when the binary generator was in its off state. And we had a light bulb here that would turn that would turn green whenever the VCO was in its one state and turn blue when the VCO was in its zero state. So this was our first hardware implementation that I developed via LTSPICE. Uh, this used two 555 timers, as you can see here. This left one here was set to create a square wave of one kilohertz. Um, so you see here, it was a just a general 010 uh, square wave. And then the second 555 timer here acted as a VCO 
uh, as a VCO, similar to the one as shown in the previous slide, where it created another square wave here uh, that would have modulated between when it was in, uh, when it was in a zero state a frequency of 45 kilohertz, and when it was an on state, a frequency of 65 kilohertz. So this is the current model that we have. Um, this, the data input here displays our message. The input polynomial is here to ensure that our, <laughs> that our input wave goes in, uh, can go and fluctuate between one and negative one. Um, and the frequency modulation equation here um, acted as our VCO. And this is our output here. And you can see the difference in frequency here. So this is our current, this is our overall current um, RF2 optical conversion system. Our demodulation block are, is currently in process. However, this is what we have for our um, MZM or mock center modulation system. Uh, this system is used to um, to convert the RF signal into the optical signal in the first place, and it does this by taking in the RF signal here and shifting it and putting it through a phase shifter of I on both ends and um, phase shifting um, shifting it again with the beam splitter here. Um, and then recombine over here. So this is our current optical fiber um, subsystem. Um, as of now, we only have the attenuation block here. Um, for future uh, for future iterations, we plan to input in a bit error rate and a signal to noise as long, along with other factors such as um, dispersion. And so this is our current model for the optical to RF conversion block. Uh, we have a optical amp amplifier, um, which as of now does not have a set value. However, in later iterations, uh, we hope to determine a value for the optical amplifier to ensure that the <clears throat> um, to ensure that the optical that the RF signal that comes out uh, remains remains within the parameter set by the TDs. And then along with a low pass filter to remove any, uh, to remove or lessen any current um, noise distribution along with this the eye, eye diagram block, which displays this right here. Uh, we would like to acknowledge um, our capstone director, Dr. Hari Sunak, along with Mike Smith, who is our consultant Consulting technical director from the ELE comp side, um, as well as our two um, technical directors from General Dynamics, Michael Bronner and Dr. Charles George. Thank you for listening to our presentation.